I thought I would show you how to disable the DBX on the Tascam 244. On later models such as the 246 and most of the 424 range there's a switch to be able to turn DBX off. As it comes out of the factory the 244 has DBX turned on on all four channels all the time. There's a couple of reasons you might want to disable this. The reason that I'm doing it just now is I've got all four channels working pretty nicely on this machine except there's something up in just record mode of channel one and I'm trying to establish whether the problem lies with this DBX board or elsewhere in the system. So I'm just bypassing channel one. Um, other reasons you might want to do that, maybe you want to bypass one of the channels, maybe it's channel one, maybe it's channel four, so that you can use it for empty sync, MIDI sync, sync with Volkas and pocket operators or synthesizers, these sorts of things. And I suppose the other reason you would do it is if you just don't like the sound of DBX, like uh, a guy got in contact with me via my Facebook page and wanted to know how to do this because he didn't like the way the DBX sounded. He preferred to have more hiss and uh, a, you know a brighter sound, more tape compression and everything. So the thing to understand is that this DBX system is completely optional. It doesn't affect how anything that the recorder playback board over yonder or the tape machine is doing works. And uh, what you've got is it encodes on the way in and it decodes on the way out so it's not just like a passive effect that you can apply to material that wasn't recorded with dbx it assumes that you're recording and playing back through the same dbx system um, so you can see on the board we've got a decode and an encode side so when it's recording the signals arriving from the mixer going into this area say for channel one you can see the channel one channel two channel three channel four the DBX is doing its thing and it's coming out of there before going to the tape head. And then on playback, it's coming from the head into the decode side, passing through here and then coming out again of this socket, passing through the mixer, passing through the Q amp. You know, you're hearing it through speakers, headphones, whatever. So you can see that expressed in these cables like brown... Is always channel one in the T44 color scheme. So here's the uh, encode side and um, the red's the input. So you've got a positive and a negative side. And it goes in here through the DBX and it comes out via this cable. And then on this side for playback, it goes in via this brown one with a red marker on it. Goes through the DBX and comes out via this brown cable with a black marker on it. Um, so in order to bypass it, what we can do is just go from the black side, this brown and red one, to the black side of this brown and black one. And uh, you can see that I'm doing that with this J-Punk breadboarding guy. So you just... So that's creating a diversion from the black side of this to the black side of this, and this one is creating a diversion from the white side of this to the white side of this. Likewise on this side, and this little yellow DuPont jumper is going from the black side of this one to the black side of this one, and the purple one is going from the white side of this one to the white side of this one. So if you wanted to completely bypass um, all four channels, I've only done it for one channel, then you would need, so what have I got? I've got four for one channel, so I'd need 16 of these. And uh, really what you do is you um, unplug all four of these. I've got a few more here. I don't know if I've got 16 of them. Um, but basically you do them in pairs and you jump over every second hole. Just bash the camera there. Go on, that one's reluctant to go in. Um, but imagining that stayed in. And so you would have 16 of these all like that. That'd be the easiest way to do it. Occasionally I've had two four fours in where someone's made a modification where one or more, sometimes all four of these cables are running to a switch box and then the switch box has got cables going to the DBX board. So they'll maybe on the inside of the plastic case, I've seen it, you know, mounted here. That's probably a, a modification that I will demonstrate on the channel at some point. Just a bit of soldering with a switch. It's not really all that complicated. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. Hope to see you again soon.